Yeah, hello everybody. Thank you, Robert, for the possibility to show you guys uh, how we use the Alter G treadmill in our ambulant rehabilitation. To introduce myself, I'm Dr. Christoph Lukas, working in the rehabilitation center HESS in Bietigheim Bissingen, which is close to Stuttgart. Besides that, uh, I'm running a private practice for sports orthopedic there. And I'm the team physician of the Hakro Merlins Kreisheim in the basketball Bundesliga, first league of basketball in Germany. In our rehabilitation center, we've got orthopedic and neurologic patients um, and doing ambulant rehabilitation with them. I don't think I have to introduce the Alter G treadmill to you. I think this should be clear by now how it works. But until now, most of the time it's advertised as a tool for high level athletes to come back after injuries, to come back to sports sooner or better. Like in this example, the national team goalie of the handball ladies team of Germany, which recovered after her ACL rupture in our rehab center. But there aren't enough high level athletes to get enough money out of it to get a return of invest on the Alter G treadmill. So you have to think of other possibilities, how to use it. And I think rehabilitation is a pretty good argument. Therefore, in rehabilitation, we've got the problem um, that we have to treat the patients for three to four weeks, four to six hours a day. That's the classic rehabilitation in Germany. And we have to find things they can do in this time. And with patients, for example, who are patient weight bearing, who aren't allowed to get full uh, contact. We ha sometimes have a lack of therapies we can do with them without one-on-one -on -one physiotherapy, which is a pretty uh, expensive therapy. On the other hand, we have people with paralysis, patients with paralysis, which we also have to find things we can do with them. They all need a better gait. They need gait training. They have to improve their gait patterns. And a lot of the times, pay, uh, the patients with uh, partial weight bearing are treated with aqua jogging. But both therapies, gait training and aqua jogging, have some disadvantages. As you can see in these pictures, uh, aqua jogging isn't a normal gait pattern. You can improve muscles, but even there, it's a little bit a different kind of gait pattern of, of uh, muscles which are used to get forward. And on the other hand, if you do the classic gait training, you always need a therapist close to the patient who is watching him, who is correcting him. And that's a lot of manpower you need. It's an expensive, expensive therapy. And therefore, we are really glad that we have the Alter G treadmill where the people have a normal muscle pattern they need for their gait, which and they, they can correct themselves via the camera on the screen here. And after instruction through the therapist, they can do the rest of the 30 minutes on their own, which is pretty good. And I'll go, I'm going to show you some examples how we use the Alter G in our rehabilitation. The first example I've got is an 80 year old patient who had several surgeries on his uh, cervical spine and on his lumbar spine. His problems now is the polyneuropathy and a certain dizziness. So he's uncertain. And he, he doesn't trust his gait. So that's why he needs the rollator and his power is also still lacking. So therefore, the Alter G is a pretty good treatment. Of course, we he needs some help in his age to put on the the Alter G pants, therefore the therapist is of course there to help him and he helps him getting into the Alter G. We put a small step on the end, so it's pretty easy for the patients to get into it because we can lower it down to ground level. And almost everybody comes into the Alter G um, treadmill. Then everybody, everything is set for the patient and he can control himself on the screen. In this case, uh, the body weight was set to around one third of his weight and a pretty uh, slow speed. So we doesn't uh, put the patient too hard so he feels comfortable with the treatment. And as you see, he's got a pretty good gait pattern. The therapist is standing next to the patient, showing him what he should correct, where he should watch or what he should watch. 
and he stayed, stays there until everything is safe and then the patient can continue on his own and you see his he's moving pretty straight he's not going side to side the the step length is almost the same on each side and so he can improve his muscles and and his self confidence in his gait and as you can see afterwards when he's using his rollator he's got a pretty big shift from side to side during walking he, the the left foot is stronger he has a longer step there and so the, the, the altered sheet treadmill is pretty good for him to improve those patterns. The next patient I'm going to show you is a 35-year-old male. He had an ACL rupture and got an ACL repair and a lateral meniscus repair nine weeks before this video. And I'm really glad I can show you. This is the first time in six months that this patient, who is a handball player, is running again. And that was, of course, a big, big moment for him. He's, he was really lucky. He, uh, lucky. He said, that's the moment I know why I'm doing all this stuff again, that I can, can come back into running. And in my opinion, for the first time in six months, the, the gait pattern during running looks really, really good. And quite normal. He can use his normal arm uh, swing and everything's fine. Okay, our next patient, she's a 66-year-old woman, got an ankle prosthesis one and a half years ago and needed a revision and a new inlay one month prior to those videos. And again, you can see she's got already got a good gait pattern on the treadmill. She's intensively watching herself, how she's rolling over her foot and how she's using her ankle joint. So also it's a really, really helpful thing for us in rehabilitation to improve her gait again and get her back to her normal living. This patient, 55 year old, uh, he had a herniated disc on the lowest level of the lumbar spine with a paralysis of his dorsiflexures in the foot. Uh, surgery is uh, two months ago. And also you can see that the left foot isn't coming up as good as the other side, but he is improving on this. He's watching himself and trying to correct as good as possible. And he's building up the muscles. He needs to get the dorsiflexion back in an active manner. And now uh, the last one, this 83 year young lady had an apoplex she's got a hemiparesis of her left side especially of the leg and this is a possibility for her without the rollato to start walking again to practice walking without the risk of, of uh, to fall down and she's also intensively watching herself trying to get better and most of the people really really like those other cheat treatment, uh, treatment and they want it as often as possible because they see how they profit from it. Some financial aspects, uh, speaking for the Alter G treatment, as I mentioned, you need less manpower. You need the therapists for the first minutes until everything works and the, the patient knows what to do, what to look for, and then you can leave him practicing on his own. And as I said, most of the patients really, really like the Alter G treadmill. So it's often pretty easy to sell them a ticket for 10 more treatments after the rehabilitation is over, maybe combined with physiotherapy on prescription. And therefore, they get optimal treatment and come back to sport or to their normal living as good as possible. Back to sport. Um, last thing I want to mention uh, about the Alter G treadmill. I had a chance to visit the NBA Chicago Bulls two weeks ago in their training center, talk to the medical staff, and the physiotherapist gave me one sentence I think is worth, worth uh, mentioning here. He said, if I've got only one tool I can use in rehabilitation, it would be the Alter G because it's got the most benefit for our players. So I think what's good enough for the NBA should be good enough for our patients too. And uh, therefore I say, uh, 
thanks for your attention. I hope you've got a good meeting and get a lot of other information to help you. Bye-bye.